What is up Ladder Climbers? Antoine Wade here, six figure earner and millionaire. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about a role that I had in my previous life. This is what engineers do to people who question their engineering. You said I wasn't technical. I'm gonna show you that I'm technical now. Now I'm my fingers around your throat. Welcome back to the Black Hat channel where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, guys, do me a stone cold favor and stump on that like button as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, in this video today, we are going to talk about what is a software engineer, what skills you need to become a software engineer, the education you need to become a software engineer because you do need education, the jobs and the average salary of a software engineer and the career path of a software engineer. Without further ado, let's jump into what is a software engineer. And guys, I'm going to explain it this way. A software engineer is the real deal. And anytime you have engineer on the back of a field or a profession, that means that you are the real deal. That means that you've graduated with a degree and have some knowledge and preferably some experience. And you are capable you are capable of designing, testing, developing software systems. A combination of software components and a combination of hardware components as well. You see the bigger picture and it's your responsibility to clearly explain the bigger picture to your team members. So basically you are a overseer of the programmers and the developers. Now that I have clearly explained what a software engineer what soft are the skills, skills to make you a good software engineer? One is communication skills. Two, I would say, is teamwork. Three, I would say, computer programming and coding abilities. Four, I would say, problem solving. Five, I would say, multitasking. Those are the five top soft skills and hard skills that I think are most important for a role as a software engineer. And guys, what I would say out of all these skills, I was not the best programmer. Now I could program, but I was better at communicating, better at teamwork, better at managing developers and programmers to get work done. And I was better at talking to the customers and making sure that everybody understood the overall big picture of what we were designing. And that's the role of a software engineer. Yes, you can be thrown into the coding bunch. You can be thrown into the programming bunch to do some of that work. And there are times when you will have to do such a thing, but overall, the majority of your work is really gonna be on the designing part, the architecture part, the communication part, talking to customers, talking to your team members to make sure that everyone is in a line and to make sure that the software is developed. I was a software engineer for about six years of my life. That was the first job that I had out of college. That was the only role that I was looking for when I graduated college. And I had a management information systems degree and a computer science minor. So let's now talk about the education that you need to become a software engineer. So the majority of software engineers have an education. That means that 71% have a bachelor's degree and about 19% have a master's degree. So anytime there's an engineer at the back of a role or a career, that means that you do have a level of education. And to be a software engineer, you must have some sort of education. Now, there are some people who have became software engineers from being a programmer or a developer because they've risen through the ranks and they may not have education, but it's very rare that it actually happens. But what I would say is this, the majority of them have some level of education. And the types of majors that the majority of them have is computer science is the number one at about 31%. Then there's electrical engineering, computer engineering, information technology, management, management information systems, computer information systems, and other IT related degrees. So let's now talk about the salary of a software engineer. The average salary for a software engineer is about $86,000 per year, and that equates to about $41 per hour. And guys, as an entry level software engineer, the salary is about $65,000 a year. That's a little bit higher than when I graduated college in 2005 and started in the professional world in 2006. I wasn't making about $48,000 a year during that time. But as you can see, that software engineers, they make a lot of money in the top 10% make over $120,000 per year. So this is definitely a six figure earning salary. And guys, here's the thing. 
The job growth rate of software engineers is about 21% and it continues to grow. And here are some jobs for a role of a software engineer here in Austin, Texas. Let's now talk about the career path of a software engineer. There are multiple career paths as a software engineer. And let me just tell you personally, because I've risen through the ranks as a software engineer to kind of go through from a senior software engineer to a master software engineer, to a program lead or a project lead, to an actually manager. And there are other paths that you can take as well, such as being becoming a systems engineer, an information technology manager, a business analyst, a project manager. There are multiple paths that you can take after you become a software engineer, which is the reason why I think it's one of the best career paths that you can take as an MIS major, a CIS major, a computer science major, or some other engineering major if you are interested into technology and to software. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do me a favor and leave me a comment on any of these points that I have made in this video. Also, if you like this sort of content, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content. And until next time, y'all, peace.